What's going on guys? This is Brian and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Um, <laughs> oh, my last video um, I really screwed up. Uh, or actually my last recording I really screwed up. So, um, but if you remember last time place changed. We're now in the other world. Uh, came out of this room really didn't do much exploring saved that's basically what happened after the end of the last video that you guys saw well I actually started re-recording and stuff and messed up so I have to do this all over again um, I didn't get too far so I kinda know what to expect from for a little bit but aside from that I wasn't gonna lie to you guys and BS my reactions to you guys but we are going to continue here and I do hope you guys enjoy And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. Well, so you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She was your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side. That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you, too. Alright. So, it's pretty interesting. I, I still don't get really what's going on with the whole mother and she's the one and all this stuff so it's pretty interesting all right so that's basically hinting at that we're gonna burn something which I ended up getting to Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was all. Yeah. Alright. Lock it and head back out. Um, one thing I did do, that at least I know now, is my weapons. I was having such a hard time with things. 
I like wasted all my ammo and everything. <laughs> then, and I was actually glad that I kind of had to redo this for that reason. Another thing I did know, um, as you guys know, I've been watching, I have not used the beef jerky. Um, I actually start using, I'm actually going to start using it now because it does help me get around these things because all my melee weapons for some reason are just, I don't know, to me they just don't do damage. I have to use the pistol or shotgun and I always have a whole lot of ammo. I think we go into one of the elevators. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. Or do I run to the other side? I don't remember. And I just did the recording a while ago. I already forgot. this here and if you guys get in here and don't want to continue just explore you can actually push that button there and you will be released from the elevator so what we're gonna do I this is exactly the same thing I did in my recording that you guys unfortunately won't be able to see <laughs> but I went down I went down the or went up I just went one two three four five six that's all I did. So we're going to start with one. And down here we discover this pretty messed up thing right here. It's so creepy. Um, I didn't die. I didn't go near it because I was pretty smart enough not to go close to it. I didn't shoot at it or anything. What you need to do is read this book that's here on the floor. It tells you a little story. Alright, so once you do that, you basically are on the search for the rest of the book. Which, obviously, you're going to have to travel to the other floors to see if you find anything. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, guess I was wrong. There is something you need in this room. So what I did was just ran past this guy here. Last time he was laying down. This time he's standing up. So but you run all the way to the right. Oh, I got close to him. I think he's up. 
We get this. And we run away from him. Try getting the shotgun on the way. Ouch. Oh no, get up. Get up. Then run. <laughs> get out of here. That's all you have to do. Get ammo in the liver, I believe it was. You'll be needing that later. So there's nothing else to do here. I think this is the first time I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> 